So an investigation report has been revealed. So an investigation report has revealed some interesting findings about Prince William's secret campaigns that he is doing behind the scenes that we don't know anything about. Whew. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Another extra video coming out to you tonight in regards to the royal family. A bit of a midnight news royal video. Didn't expect to do this, but today I am working overtime. But we have to get into this, where Prince William has been caught secretly earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a year from a giant car showroom complex in the Midlands, I News can reveal. Documents obtained by I reveal that not all it seems of Duchy of Cornwall's business activities are in line with its outspoken ideals of climate change. He's been accused of hypocrisy by campaigners for secretly making money from an industry that currently contributes to more than 10% of the UK's total carbon emissions by making a strong secret six-figure sum from these car showrooms. According to Lang Registry um, documents seen by I, the Duchy of Cornwall bought the sprawling complex for 15 million. The investment earns him £800,000 a year in rent and is home to one of Europe's largest showrooms plus also many other car dealerships. Although there are a small number of electric cars on the site which is leased, the majority are petrol and diesel, which is directly against what Prince William is campaigning for when it comes to climate change. The Duchy of Cornwall said it has championed the preservation of natural ecosystems and achieves a balance between financial results and protecting the environment. William automatically inherited the Duchy of Cornwall. The Duchy of Cornwall makes money in a variety of ways. Some of the profits it makes will be going to paying staff and meeting financial needs for William. According to Clarence House, the profits are used to support William and his family and to fund his ph philanthropic work. So the money that he's earning from these places funds the philanthropic work that he's doing that is being made by the money that he stands against. So this is a secret report that this is a report, sorry, that has come out via I in regards to secret money that William is earning that he's not publicly displayed from car emissions when he is meant to be championing against climate change. How can this man be against climate change but then is earning nearly a million a year from one source? How can this man be against homelessness but hasn't done anything for it? This is what I'm saying. This man is a crook in my humble opinion. He's not doing any work. It's lazy, ineffective and directly hypocritical. And now this report has come out. What I also find interesting is that the UK press are protecting him. Why I say that is because this has only come out via iNews and has not been repeated by any other press junket. They're not carrying the story. They're not reporting it. They're not talking about it. It's only this article, the original one where it's sourced from, that are discussing this. Instead, they're discussing William and Kate coming out with this note of thanking you know a cancer stricken father who unfortunately passed away to their family a bit odd that kate and william would send out a letter to a random family why haven't they done that six months ago why would they do that on this day because they probably knew this report was coming out and they thought let's help drown out the news that's just my personal opinion because for you to be earning nearly a million on climate change emissions when you're meant to be arguing against climate change is directly hypocritical you're campaigning against it on a weekly, monthly basis, giving speeches, going to summits, but then you're out here doing the exact opposite. It's insane. Mary Claire have come out with a story saying that Princess Kate and Prince William are experiencing the toughest years of their lives together. It's been extremely difficult behind the scenes. They've gone through an extreme amount. Interesting. According to English um, Daily Mail, Kate, uh, sorry, according to Rebecca English from Daily Mail, she is still undergoing her preventative cancer treatment throughout the summer while spending her with, um, time in Balmoral. As a result, her recovery will be ongoing for many months to come on once even this is concluded. This just makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Her recovery will be ongoing for many months to one come once even this is concluded. For now, there's no firm plan regarding Kate's return to her official royal duties. It's been a rough, rough time, an extremely difficult year for both of them. And as she said herself, she's not out of the woods yet. While she's in a positive direction, no one is giving a time scale. A number of sources who discussed how Princess Kate has been managing her health. I don't think people realize how much she has gone through behind the scenes and it's for how long, far longer than anyone actually appreciates. She's an incredibly strong woman. How she has been through the wars. What wars? Um, her treatment and recovery is sort of priority. I feel like they're hinting on stuff. And the fact that they also state that they're both going through a significant amount. Daily Mail put out this exclusive article earlier on today. I read through it. was going to discuss it tomorrow, but I'm not discussing it here now because Mary Claire also discussing it. What roughness are they both going through? Because it's Kate who is going through the cancer-related stuff. Not sure what William's going through personally because he's been out there at the Euros, out there with you know at the, at the bars and etc. So somebody please let me know. But for her now, still is not going to be returning for next year. Basically is what they're saying. 
saying that for many months after this is all concluded, she's not going to return. What is going on? <laughs> I just feel like something in the buttermilk is not clean. Something is going on behind the scenes. Something else has happened outside of this. Is it divorce? We don't know. Something's bubbling under and it doesn't make any sense. And I feel like they keep pushing things away. And I don't understand why. It's worked with, you know, dampening the public interest. After trooping, people were like, okay, she's good. Bye. But I'm still on this train. And although I'm about to get off this train, to be honest with you, my stop is arriving. I just find this to be so bizarre. It's so bizarre for Daily Mail to put up this article for Rebecca English saying that basically she's not going to be she's still having her preventative cancer treatment she's been going through preventative cancer treatment from january to now in august i i like please correct me if I'm wrong on ignorance for those who had cancer or for those who have their loved ones had cancer i did not think that preventative cancer treatment is that long and if it's chemo treatment surely you do lose your hair i'm so bemused by this and then even after this is concluded you're nowhere to be seen. We're not talking about ordinary people who don't have the money, who don't come from the strong classes, don't have the you know financial expert advice that connects to have immediate private medical practice whenever they want. We're not discussing that. We're discussing people like Kate, who's got a golden spoon in her mouth and can get anything with like that under her if she wants, especially when it comes to her health. The top of the top of the top. She is going to be the queen of this flipping country. Of course, she's gonna to get top health. So. I thought this would have been concluded by now. It's clearly not. But once it has been concluded, from, which is basically next year, there is no return in sight. To me, that it's so confusing because we're not asking you to work a nine to five like actual people do. The royals don't do anything but you know throw parties and pr pr pretend they're important at summits. All you have to do is go back to work and attend monthly engagements once a month which people would be seeing you doing and then it would look like you're active again. That's what these royals do. They don't even work hard. So this is what I'm so confused about. I'm genuinely so confused. I, I, I don't understand what is going on. It's not about whether I believe she has cancer or not. It's just about something else also is going on and the press are trying to hold onto that box before it bursts open and I think that is going to happen like one day we're just going to be hit with Kate William divorce and something like that something's I don't know what it is like something is going to happen that is big um, announced later this year next year I just get that hunch for some unknown reason I don't get it very odd Daily Mail article Rebecca English coming to save the day to speak for them uh, it just I, I don't know N none of this is making any sense to me Oh Lord, none of this is making any sense to me when it comes to William and Kate and you know her recovery will be ongoing for many months. I don't know. Subscribe, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please comment. Please send a super thanks if you guys wish to. There's a dollar sign there. Become a member of the channel, baby, and support and help fund this channel because I'm giving you content 24-7 every single day. Click that button and subscribe. It's just one click to subscribe, baby. That's it. So all you gotta do, one click to subscribe and I'll be giving you videos every single day. You can watch them or you can swipe left on your phone if you're not interested, but you'll be getting those videos and content all for free. So subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. That was way too close, I'm so sorry.